Hey everyone, welcome back. In this episode, I would like to talk about the Excelsius push button. The Excelsius push button object is new to Excelsius SP3 and provides some extremely powerful features. The push button acts like a trigger that a user can press to transfer values from an arbitrary size source to an equally sized destination. Let me show you a quick example. So basically we can have our source data, in this example it's six cells, and when you push a button, those values will go to your target cell, which is also the same size as your source cell. Before the advent of the push button, you could somewhat emulate this with a toggle button by having the same value in both the on and off switch. However, you could only transfer one cell of information, which was a huge limitation. Let's take a simple example now of how we would use a push button to our advantage. In our example that I've come up with, uh, we're going to be setting a bunch of values to the default state by pressing the default reset button. Uh, with this example, you'll be able to download it later on, so you'll get a better uh, idea of what's going on in the internal state. Basically, I have three selectors, a uh, region list box, an on-off switch radio, and a city dropdown. I've also put a table on the bottom for visual purposes. Looking at the spreadsheet below, uh, we have uh, the cells highlighted in yellow, which will be the default item selected, and the destination uh, where the selectors put their items. So we have our selected items which is A2 for region and the destination will be A2 as well. For the on off switch it will be B2 and for the city it will be C2. Now to the reset default push button our source data will be F2 to H2 and whenever we press the reset default button, it will transfer those values to the cells in yellow. Now let's see this in action. So let's just change up a bunch of values. Let's play with it a little bit more. And as you can see, we even get an indication whenever the push button has been pressed. If we were to use a toggle button that has the same value for the on and off, we would need to make them the same color, otherwise users would think that a state has actually been changed, which in reality it hasn't. Uh, thus, with a toggle button, you couldn't really have the same effect as the push indication button. We can see how easily this triggering, triggering mechanism can be done with a push button. However, with, uh, without a push button, we would really need to jump through hoops in order to accomplish what we just did just now, thus making the push button a very useful feature for Excelsius. If you have any good examples of using the push button that you would like to share, please post it on the comments section of either the video or the blog article. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel for more Excelsius and business objects related videos. Bye now.